Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going. It's going. All right. We're we're going. What up? What up? What up, what up? Welcome. The title of the show is Digital Cortex. I am Steven. This is Random Styles. And we're ready to start this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know anymore, man. Uh, uh, yeah, dude. Look, yeah, we gotta talk about. Let's just start with the off the top. Robert Sarver for the Suns announced that he's going to sell the team. Yes, yeah. he's gonna sell it. The pressure was on from the adjoining cities, and so now he's gonna sell it. Um, and uh, that and the you Mercury. The list. You see the list of guys that want to buy it? No. Well, they got one guy. You might have uh, seen him before. In uh, different things, like Jeff Bezos. Amazon. Yeah, who are Bezos. the other people? So we got we got a couple of people on this list. Shit, what is the list? Um, I'll look up the list. But yeah, dude, your dreams have come true. What do you think? How do you feel about that? Um. I feel, I don't know, okay. No, indifferent. That's cool, man. I feel okay. Yeah. I feel, feel better okay. than I would have <laughs> if it was like a reverse outcome and nothing else happened to this guy. Okay. So here's the list. It's Jeff Bezos. It's the Oracle founder, Larry Elson. Lauren Powell. Jobs, which is Steve Jobs'. Yeah. Ex. Um, she has... 20% minority stake in the Washington Wizards. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Uh, oh, and then Bob Iger. Uh, Disney. Disney. Yeah, Disney CEO. Disney wants to get a sports mm -hmm. team again. Dude, we're going to be owned by Disney? Dude. Or Bezos. If we're owned by Disney, just expect that our logo turns from like a sun to like the... Uh, uh, Raisin Bran son. <laughs> They're gonna, um, they could cartoonize. Dude, they would put the Suns in Disney cartoons. Yeah. Yeah, the Suns would be huge. Yeah, he, they'd be able to make just like they did the Mighty Ducks and everything, you know? Yeah, they would put Booker with Mickey Mouse, dude. Interesting. That sounds crazy. But yeah, I think it's gonna be Bezos. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like he's just gonna put. Because I feel like that's a billionaire thing. Like, I want my team now. Like, as soon as you get some billions, you got to get a team. That's exactly what Mark Cuban did. He got he sold his company, right? He, he was mm -hmm. doing the, the internet streaming. He was streaming on the internet. Somebody bought his company for, like, X billion dollars or whatever, like 300 billion or something like that, 200 billion dollars. And then uh, he's like, all right, I think I'm going to buy an NBA team now. And he immediately bought the Dallas Mavericks. And then obviously he's doing all this, all their Shark Tank and all that stuff. But but that's like a lot of income for these guys, right? What do you mean? Like if you own a sports team and you buy it for those billions of dollars, how long till you... Uh, I think it's a test. Uh, how long before you... Um, actually start making profit oh, you've know. paid off that debt of investment into it it all depends on what kind of deals they get they get tv deals they get uh so that's i guess that's the question we got to ask a uh, google is like hey google how much does an average sports team make revenue sorry i don't have any information about <sighs> yeah, that's a tough one dude you have oh, to wait. ask like the average the revenue game. for an nba yes Oh no. Sixteen thousand six hundred twenty eight dollars. Hey Google. Hey Google, stop. Let's stop. Let's see. How much does an NBA team 
make a year? No. Wait. Well, that's the average worth of the. Is every NBA team profitable? Do you want to hear the answer? Yes. On the website BleacherReport.com, they say, nearly half of the NBA's 30 teams reportedly lost money before collecting revenue share in payouts during the 2016-17 season. Okay. But I don't know if they really answer our questions. This is some interesting. They're reporting that the Suns are worth $1.92 million. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Who is this? No, I think they meant, I think it's a typo. They meant to put billion. They put million on this, on Yahoo's website. Thank you, Yahoo. According to a recent estimation, that was according to a recent estimation in December of 2021. They had it at 1.9 billion. However, a new report from Forbes estimates the team could go for as much as $2.5 billion. Sarver owns 35% of the franchise as a managing partner. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, you know, it's going into a lot of other stuff, but that's the big news. Um, hmm. We've got all kinds of, I mean, the... Uh, the Suns just actually came out with their jerseys too, their new, uh, their new jerseys for the, for the season. Let me see, Phoenix. Twenty twenty three. Yeah, they just released it, and they have they went from the Nike symbol to the Jordan symbol. On their new. Uh, on their new image. And they still have PayPal on there. So PayPal didn't actually uh, drop them after all. Wait, right? Wasn't it PayPal before? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was PayPal before. PayPal. I'm trying to think here. Okay, let's see. Thinky, thinky, think. Dude, they got some crazy, like, aqua color. Look at this. Like, That's oh. weird. Why? <laughs> what do you mean? Why? It's weird. They why do they have it? Because they can, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but why <laughs> choose the color? I don't get it. And like, is it representative of something? Uh, the Southwest. This kind of feels like a more like a Southwest-ish kind of color. I don't know. New Mexico for turquoise, but not us. No, there's a lot. Yeah, I would say here too. No, I don't, I don't, I don't see turquoise it. out as much. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind the colors. And then it's see the letters too. I mean the not the letters, but the um, numbers how they're colored too. Oh, I think I get it. No, no, I don't know if I get it. it doesn't say. It doesn't have a description of why they. Well, because for a second, the actual Suns logo on the shirt, it kind of reminded me of like just a clear sunny day. Okay. And so I was thinking that color. Well, that color might just be, you know, blue skies. And then the, the, the letters, how they were gradient like that, it reminded me, sunset. Oh, maybe it's like sunset in the letters. And it's like just clear day for the rest of the jersey. But then it's also clear day at the bottom of the numbers. So that's where I got lost. I liked it. I mean, they, they're coming out with so many variants. Um, oh, let me see. Hold on. So the city edition is where things get wonky. Phoenix apparently is going for a turquoise look, most likely as a nod to the local Native American culture. But it has a very similar appearance to some of the Miami Heat um, Vice City concepts. So Miami Heat kind of had these, uh, like a similar aqua, like teal kind of turquoise-ish look. If you thought the Suns logo on the chest look was, was gone with the orange Friday uniforms, you'd be wrong. Sun's uni tracker made a mock up of a leak. Okay, so this is the picture. This is the one, like what I was showing you. So yeah, I guess that's their city jersey this year. They they went away from the valley then. The all black valley. 
Yeah, it just said the Valley, right? Yeah, that was their city jersey, so they changed it this year. This one's nice. Look at that. Are you, you, wait, what, if you had to pick one, which one would you be more into, basketball or football? Basketball, I think. You think basketball you get into? Yeah. I don't really care for football. Like, it never is appealing. But my dad watched basketball all the time, oh, more okay. so than football. And so I kind of watched it with him. Yeah. I'm still not, like, that into it, but. If you had to pick one. If I had to pick one, definitely. Yeah. Basketball. I think basketball is fun. It's pretty transferable. Like you don't need to know a lot of the plays or anything. You know the ball goes in the hoop. That's good. Like you like with football, sometimes it can get a little wonky. Like, is that worth three? Is that two? Was that a safety? Was that there's flags point? and then there's yeah. highlighted bars and then there are people going back and forth and yeah. uh, I don't know. I don't really I don't feel know. like it. That's a illegal formation. You know, like, what does illegal formation mean? I don't even know what that means. You know, they, it definitely can get, like, real technical real fast. And it's like, basketball is like, they shoot. If they shoot behind this line right here, then it's worth more. Like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are you writing this down? <laughs> yeah, you should be able to get it. It's pretty simple. <laughs> so it's fun. It's more of a social game, too. Like, if we, me and you wanted to go play, we could go to the court and play. If we wanted to play football, we'd have to find, like, at least You'd, you'd best be playing, like, catch. Yeah, you'd be playing catch, but I'm saying if you actually want Which wanna... still would be fun, you know? It's fine. Catch you're still fine. running back and forth, at least for me, because I'm very bad at catching. But if you actually want to play the same game you're watching on TV is what I'm saying. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a different game. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, basketball, you literally can grab seven, you know, five and five, four and four. You can get three on three, you know, half court. You know, you can... It's easy. But, yeah, dude, I don't know. I think football... It is crazy. These guys are just hurting their neck already. There's concussions. Guys are getting hurt. Their ankle. Crazy plays. People getting flipped. Like, football is just crazy, man. You have these big, huge, enormous, like, football players crashing into each other. Like, it's a crazy game, man. They were just, uh, I mean, we don't do NFL news, but there was a quarterback for Miami Dolphins, and uh, he hit his head on the ground when he got pushed. And um, they were saying he had a concussion, but he came back into the game. So now the NFL is looking at to see if he was supposed to stay out. Yeah, I think if you have a concussion, you should definitely stay out of the game. Yeah, so I think they they kind of like side stepped some of the protocols and just put him back in the game. They're like, no, fuck this. What? Yeah, that's fucked up, man. He won the game. <laughs> that's not the point. No, no, no. I'm not the point is, bad. is like you know, this guy's like, yo, we should care more about your safety than we do they're about trying. winning. The NFL is trying. I don't. To... They shouldn't have be trying. They should just do. Exactly. That's that's a. Is it, why is it so hard for like companies and organizations to just make a natural human decision? It's they are so locked up in their not only that their culture of how the game's been played, but also about like making sure they're doing things to protect because the players are learning that they knew more about concussions and then they were telling them. So like you have to now look like you're trying to do something about it because more lawsuits might come in the future, you know, about player safety and uh, you guys need this. Right, right, right. Exactly. But that's my point is like, we shouldn't have gotten to a part where we're at like, well, you knew. And you didn't say anything. Yeah. That moment should have never happened. Back then, when they started finding out, they should have been like, "Yo, this is what we know. Uh, fair warning now. Like, this could happen. It's gonna mess up the whole game. When, I mean, they know that you hitting each other is not good. You know, like. But if the game is is flawed like that in that sense. And it would mean that the end of this game, like it may not continue or may have to live in a different form for now on it's that people are not going to like then like or allow this to keep happening to human beings. They're going to keep going, I think. Yeah, they're going to keep going because they care more about the money and keeping it alive. They just need to, te- to release the information. These are the numbers. This is the statistics. Right. They should be because and that is the say, natural human nice moral thing to do do you want to take the risk if you if exactly you're fine with that we we want to keep having um, this but we need people who are willing to risk their lives 
and are cool with it. And we're all being open about it. Like, what do you want us to do? He really wants to do this. I think because once they release those numbers, they're going to look really bad. <laughs> like, they're going to. It's going to show like some. Yeah, but stuff. but be be there. Be like, yeah, at the beginning, like, look, this could cause this. So before yeah. it just starts happening that we got to bury it, let's just all get out there and say this could happen. Yeah. And then when it starts happening, be like, well, I mean, it's always been a known risk. It's open. Yeah. Once it's open, then they'll be I'm mean, the same then thing with like on. UFC or, or you're boxing somebody. You can yeah. kill somebody in the match by hitting them too hard. Yeah. Like it's happened. Yeah, it's ha- it's and happened. and you know getting to the ring that that's a possibility for you. Yeah, and, and so it's okay because you've that. signed up yeah. for it. You're yeah. aware that this is possible. You could die doing this. Yeah. Say it. And Don't just crazy. try to hold it back. They're crazy too for doing it, but that's what they want to do. So we allow them to do it. So it's just, it'll be the same thing with football. Eventually they'll come out. Eventually this all will be. These are the risks. This is what you want. And there's going to be eventually, guys yeah. But 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 it shouldn't have happened to begin with. They they're should just keep, be. They're going to keep improving saying. the treatment too. Like they're finding so much about like even just marijuana with brain, um, healing the brain and stuff like that. It's one of the. It CBD, heals the brain. CBD, and marijuana the plant does is one of the only compounds that has been found to heal to actually heal the brain from wow i didn't know that yeah from that's why a lot of players have been taking that's why they don't ban it anymore in the nfl because they actually feel better they're taking it while they're all concussed like the concussion symptoms have if you ever look at them like sensitivity to light like you can't even have any light in the room it's got to be completely dark um dizziness nausea like he- pounding headaches like yeah all kinds of stuff dude it's bad and the, they would these players would say we would be stuck in bed we can't do nothing we're just laying there and that would be the, and he said i had to take it because it was the only thing that made me feel better it would actually take my symptoms down i could actually function normally so they they're gonna come out with better treatments better everything so it's just in a weird place right now. They're like trying to do stuff. Like they made them wear weird helmet things over their head. Like it was a soft padding that went over the helmet, you know, but it doesn't matter how much stuff. You, it doesn't matter if you have a big old balloon on top of your head. When your head, when you get hit and your brain shakes, that causes a concussion. It's brain shaking. So you don't need to be hit in the head. You actually, if you get hit in the body and your brain shakes to the side, that can cause a concussion. Like, it's the, the shaking of the brain. It's not hitting your head. It's when you hit your head, that's when you shake it the most because it decelerates, you know, your right. ground, your impact, deceleration, your brain just shakes in the middle. It's like the uh, same concept of like people inside of a car accident or whatever. You're in the car, the car stops. Now you're shaking around the car. Well, yeah, man. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty dark. Anyways, but yeah, that's the that's the news on the Suns. They're gonna sell. They're gonna we're gonna have different owners. It's gonna be cool. They're already uh, like I said. They they changed the symbol to Jordan now. So there's and then they didn't lose PayPal. And then you know, Bucker's gonna be in the Disney movie soon. So the Adventures of Bucker, yay. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, I'm I'm down to see it. <laughs> I watch anything Disney spits out at me and tells me to watch. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, did have you seen the Obi-Wan? That came out, right? Obi-Wan, yeah, it came out a while ago. I think yeah. we talked about it. No. I've never I've, I haven't watched it. We didn't it. talk about Oh, you haven't watched it yet. No, I haven't. Oh, yeah, it. you should watch it. What do you think so far? Like There was a couple scenes that made me feel like real good. What about like, uh, if you, I mean, it's hard to compare Mandalorian with other things because it's different stories, but how do you think they're doing with Obi-Wan? Um, I think they're doing fine with it. I mean, there's some things that you feel like, okay, whatever. But the point is to get to a specific part of the storyline anyway. But how is Ewan McGregor? How is he? Yeah. Like acting? Yes. It's fantastic, man. Should that yeah. be a question? Should that ever be a question? He's a fantastic actor. He doesn't fuck up. You put him in a role, he doesn't fuck up. That's what I'm saying. He's He's great. He's not making this thing awesome? Yeah, he's making it fucking awesome. Okay, okay. okay. I want to make sure. His parts are great. It's fun to watch him. It's a good character story. You just got to... So he's younger. Is this starting his story? 
Is it like this is kid? supposed to be about ten years before um, A New Hope? Kid? No, oh, yeah, yeah, ten yeah. years before he he Meets, uh, uh, has to take Luke out. Okay, Luke, <laughs> and then blow up the Death Star. Luke, he's just a who's the force, Luke. He's just a ghost for a while. He's a ghost now, yeah. <laughs> and the rest of it, he's a ghost, yeah. But how is he going to just be old now? Because he wasn't, he was old in the very first one. So how are they going to make you and look old now? Because like, he's, is he old? Is he old looking? He's ready? supposed to be old. <laughs> but I'm saying, we remember how old that guy looked. The guy that played the original. Right. One. And this is, this is. That's oh yeah, does he doesn't look that old? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, he doesn't look that old, like yeah. compared to that guy. Yeah, like he's supposed to get real bad in ten year span. I guess he's gonna go <laughs> from like you know this guy's normal middle aged man to like oh shit yeah, does he is, need a cane? Can someone help this guy cross the street? The <laughs> <laughs> ten years, that's all it takes. He's gonna see some shit in ten years. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna. I'm just thinking if nobody's ever seen Star Wars, they're like, what are they talking about? Uh, well, then they they should just go watch Star Wars to figure it out. Hope. Watch New Hope. Don't Google it. Look Don't try to figure Obi-Wan it out. Character. Just put that shit on. Boot up Disney+. Plus. Do we boot up anymore? Or do we just click on? I don't think I've booted up. We don't while. boot up anything, huh? You boot up that machine over there in the corner, right? Yeah. The, yeah. Boot up? It How boots long up. does it take to like load? Like, once you push the button, how many seconds would you say? Under five seconds or something Under like five seconds, you'll sign in. Yeah, pretty much, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's Cause, pretty. Because um, I think this is turned off. Let's see. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. Four, Mississippi. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to do some Mississippis. That would be fun, though. 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi, 14 Mississippi, 15 Mississippi, 16 Mississippi, 17 Mississippi, 18 Mississippi, 19 Mississippi. Wow, this is taking a long time. 20 Mississippi, 22 Mississippi, 23 Mississippi, 24 Mississippi. Oh, you have it? I'm just counting down from 10 minutes. If it takes longer than 10 minutes, then we're just going to have to throw this thing outside. It's been 15 seconds. That's been a while. Maybe 30 seconds total, huh? I'll, well, you stop me at 24 Mississippis. Okay. And What's so... What's the 15 that I have recorded? So, 39, almost 40 seconds. To start up. To start up. I feel like that takes a while. Um, yeah. Like, you should be faster than that, right? I don't know. I think that's pretty fast. I thought it was... We're supposed to be a little bit faster than that. Is that a Star Trek? Is that from the Star Trek game? That um, background? Oh, um, no, no, it's a painting. I think I got off Reddit or something. Didn't they have a Star Trek game though. They they do have a couple Star Trek games out there. Yeah, let me cool. let me turn this off though because I forgot this this one makes noise. Oh yeah, turn it off. Mm, turn it off. That was a good test. We did a test run. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a name for your machine? Yeah, uh, that that machine's called Blue Phoenix. Blue Phoenix. Okay. It used to be solid blue fans on it, and uh, it just kind of stuck with it. I knew case is not blue. There used to be a blue case. It's blue right there. It is sometimes it's blue, but uh, it's Phoenix it? all is, times. Is there any kind of upgrades nah. To it I mean, next upgrades for it. I don't think I need to upgrade for a bit. No, you're good. The technology is good. that's going solid. to be. An upgrade for this. Eventually, you gotta help me build one of these things. I want to build it, like. Yeah, man. From. Whenever you're ready to pull the trigger and buy the components, we'll we'll put a list together, get you going on something rad. uh, Do you do any of the sweepstakes on Xbox? Uh, Occasionally, sometimes. They got a Cyberpunk PC there. They auction it or given away. Give yeah, their entries. It's pretty much like an auction then, because, well. You buy entries. You could buy a lot of entries, I guess. Is it raffling off then? Is that is that what it is? Because uh, it would be a raffle, a, right? A raffle, yeah. It's just yeah. raffling. There are raffles. Because you get to put your name in so many times. Do you know anybody that's won one of those raffles? Like, I don't know. I, don't know. I did, but it was much smaller. It wasn't like nationwide. It was like in this room. <laughs> uh, I went to a Microsoft uh, developer's 
sort of night thing and they were showing off a lot of the products. Um, they gave us some cocktails and uh, they were raffling off a couple of different computers and things. Um, so they're raffling off like, oh, they gave everybody in their goodie bag an Xbox wireless uh, controller with the uh, plug and play kit. Nice. Yeah. Um, this was an Xbox. Ooh, was it one? Xbox. I think it was Xbox One. Yeah. Xbox 360. And so then what, what ended up happening was we were there for the whole night. I didn't even want to go to this. My friend dragged me to it because like I had hurt my knees. So I was using a cane to get around Jeez. and I was feeling kind of depressed and I didn't want to go. But he's like, come on, we're going, we're going, get dressed, we're going. And so we went. It's really cool. Lots of fun. They had like Xboxes set up and people were playing Halo and things like that. And again, we had the drink tickets. And so they started auctioning or raffling off the items. And I actually won a Microsoft Surface 3 tablet. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, so that's why you say you remember someone you did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> no, of, it was me. <laughs> You're one step closer to someone winning a raffle. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the Xbox One. But... Yeah, the that's big ones? Cool, no. Though. Yeah, that's cool. You won that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they came and told me, like, when I went to go collect the prize, we actually left it at the office. Um, so we'll mail it to you. And then, like, three months went by, and I still hadn't seen it. And so I was like, uh... And now I've moved. I'm, like, here. Yeah. And so I start asking them about it again they're like oh we're so sorry we'll send you a, a gift with it and so they sent it to the new address and they also sent the keyboard cover for it okay and one of their surface pens oh yeah word so so i got a little bit more just so for not getting it right away I, I, I never used the keyboard with the xbox i know i had one with the Xbox? Yeah. No, it's Surface Pro 3. Oh. Okay. It's a tablet, the Windows tablet. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it wasn't Pro. It was regular. Surface 3. All right, all right. Yeah, you said keyboard. I was like, what? But they did have some attachments, right? For oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they still do. You can get a keyboard for it. I used to have one on the 360. I remember the keyboard on the control. Yeah, remember that. that. Yeah. Oh, but they also do. I think Razer sells it, or they partnered with Razer. Or they have their own, but they do offer keyboard and mouse for the Xbox now. Yeah, yeah like you yeah, can use that. Yeah. So there are Xbox branded keyboards out there. That'd be interesting, try it. I might want to do that. I know there's people that play like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, those motherfuckers, dude. Because sometimes they don't miss, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what are you using, man? You sniping me like crazy, like. Cause they're uh, dude, you gotta jump on one of these days, man. I was playing this morning. Dude, I don't know if I ever find the fucking time. Like uh. We, because you know a lot of that like um, the single player like the tactical dude they're using all the guns now with tactical, I mean pistols, tactical like snipers tactical like you know like everything dude is tactical. Like you know they already had been moving on to different guns but now they're just using them all. They're gonna start doing rockets tactical dude. Oh shit. <laughs> how you funny to, would that be you have to it only them. counts if yeah. they get hit in the head yeah. it, the explosions imagine that anymore. that would be something you can get hit with the rocket it goes right through your body nothing have to be nothing so close, dude. i hit him in the arm bro you need to hit him in the head yeah. but it's a rocket you're just gonna end up running at each other you're just gonna see two oh my people god getting closer oh closer. my god <laughs> This is going to be or hilarious as fuck. One just fly by the guy's head and then the other guy waits and then shoots him in the head, you know? like, Yeah, it's going to be so funny, dude. It's going to be great. They, But yeah, they're, they are getting, like, they're adding... Dude, I just saw somebody with some clear bunny ears, dude. Like, I don't know. I don't what? Know. Yeah, on top of their helmet. They have bunny ears now? Yeah. This shit's getting ones. crazy. Like, kind of, like, transparent. With uh, I bought color. that last Battle Pass, too, and I never finished it. You can still finish it. Oh, yeah, yeah, they don't expire, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you'll get all the stuff. It's good stuff. I just have to buy the next one and keep buying the it's, next hasn't one. hasn't come out yet. It hasn't right. come out. Because I, I got playing, the whole Battle Pass from the first one. I just play the day, the like the weekly challenges. You still get stuff in the weekly challenges. 
those are what I will be lacking a lot of because I usually I finished the battle pass, so I have all of the battle pass stuff, but the weekly challenge ones, or the, events. I, the events, those yeah. are those are what I won't because I don't get on enough to to get the events and the I'll challenges. Let you know if there's a new event, at least you can work on. At least I could one. try to. The weekly ones, you get armor, you get this or that, you get little tags, you get colors, you know, like you get weekly stuff. It's not a lot, but you know, some hold you over until they work. They might have a, an event coming out next month or something. I feel like they haven't done one in a while, so they're probably gonna do something in October. But yeah, they're making the game good, dude. I was just reading like Halo Three is still the number one selling game of all time for Xbox. Halo Three? Yeah, Halo I 3. believe it. That was a good yeah, one. It was huge, dude. When Halo Three came out, dude. Halo was Three awesome. was awesome. Yeah, they were showing the Halo Three Xbox, and that was the first one that was like released specifically made for the 360 i think yeah yeah it was exclusive it's been exclusive but uh, well no 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 but i mean like that was the first 360 title oh yeah first for halo of the uh, t- of the, the halo series to be made for 360 yeah because yeah, the before that they had halo 2 but it was on the old xbox it was on the old xbox yeah i can't remember if they were made them cross compatible yeah they released that game with the system dude it was huge Everybody bought it. I think that was a big drive. And then Halo just had it, it. They upgraded everything from the first and second one. It was just, it was the baddest game, man. But yeah, Halo is still the. I still, you know, get down with some Halo. Microsoft's been good with the uh, cross compatible stuff now. Like if I gave you some like really old Xbox games, you'd be able to play them on your. Have Have you seen on your Xbox? Have you seen PlayStation's um, controller that they use? For a phone yeah i think so yeah it, it, it's crazy it you hold the back of it like a control and then you expand it out outwards to make it larger and then you put your phone in the middle and then boom you got a playstation now in your hand so i just read that it's for microsoft, their streaming thing yeah and i read microsoft is coming out with um their own controller it's not going to be for your phone well microsoft had already partnered with m- many companies to make official xbox licensed controllers yeah. so 8 bit dough they made one they're very famous for making like retro controllers yeah um for mobiles and then uh razor the razor kazaa or something like that was a uh, one that pulled out that was yeah. made for with the xbox buttons and everything on it yeah, this one they're not doing the phones anymore. This is going to be its own Xbox handheld. So, oh, like yeah, like, like the, the Steam Deck or the Switch, the something Switch, like that. They're just trying to go right after. Well, the Switch. you're not going to be able to play games locally on it, right? Yeah, you just connect to the Wi-Fi. It's going to be like the Switch. You could do whatever you want with the Switch. You could plug it into the right, but the Xbox games require a certain bit of hardware to run. Maybe it'll go with the Xbox. I don't know. Maybe it'll run off the Xbox or something. Yeah, it'll probably be made like a streaming device is what I think. Because that's becoming the next big thing. Is it Well, not the next big thing, but that's what a lot of people are making. They could make a handheld version of some of the games so they're not so big. Maybe. Yeah, maybe they're first party ones. But I bet Xbox will be selling it this way for their xCloud service. 2K, you can make a handheld version of 2K. Like it won't be as in depth, but you can play. You can play games. Like, yeah, but the the Xbox streaming service will be way better for something like this. Like you don't want really a downsized version of the game when you can get a high quality stream. The problem is now you just have to have some good internet connection for it. Yeah, they they already have the app on the the computers or that's how you play Xbox. So. You could do it from your phone. Yeah. You just connect a Bluetooth controller yeah. and you can play um xbox games like i could play halo i thought right from my phone come out with another version like like uh playstation doing but i guess they want to do their own they bought some company that already makes handhelds or something like that so what company was it i forgot it was on the news because if they make cheap handhelds and not really into that you know it's microsoft so i don't think they're looking in the cheap section they're buying companies that they can do something with but let me see here let me see let me see uh-uh. get all my news from this let me see if I can find it but anyways yeah uh, I should be picking up all the dead air here then yeah Logitech What's, oh Logitech they bought Logitech 
Xbox is making cloud gaming available more on more devices. Oh, like you know Logitech, what? That's the, the Logitech thing that I saw. Yeah, gaming handheld device. It will not only have Xbox cloud gaming integrated, but it will also allow you to remote play all of your current Xbox library when it launches in North America for 349 on October 17th. Oh, shit. It's coming out this year. Dude, it's... Uh... That's what it looks like. Yeah, I just found it on Best Buy for three hundred. Oh, nice! It dropped. This was five days ago. Oh, it's for pre-order. It releases on the eighteenth. Yeah, they have it listed as seventeenth. Three hundred. I guess that's not too bad, but you can only do streaming things. Nothing local. No, it's uh, it will not only have X the Xbox Cloud Gaming. But it'll allow you to remote play all of your current Xbox library. You'll have access to an incredible amount of games through Xbox Cloud Gaming and Video GeForce Now. And you can even download apps. Oh, okay, so it's Android-based, so you can play Google Play Store apps. Okay, so you can play even more games. You can download apps from the Google Play Store for remote play, social media, and more. Cloud is also extremely lightweight. And so this is pretty much what I was saying was they'd n- probably be making a handheld that's made for the streaming services yeah. that they offer. It's interesting. There's only one handheld out there that can compete with those uh, Who? uh AAA titles being yes. played on the go. Nah, man. Your phone. The Steam Deck. Steam Deck has a handheld? Yeah, Steam has a handheld, man. It's it's crazy. Look up Steam Deck. Is it uh do they sell it on Best Buy? Yeah, they sell it everywhere. How much is it on Best Buy? Let's oh, see. it has different models and variations. Um, but I think it goes for like three hundred, five hundred dollars, something like that. So the Xbox is right there, they're hitting the mark. They want to be right in the middle of the action. They're not overpricing it. Basically like uh their old price for their uh, maybe it's not on Best Buy right now, but Circuit City, come on, <laughs> see that fried electronics. Pulling it up. Oh, they sell it Walmart. at Steam, at the Steam store. Oh, okay. All right, three ninety nine for sixty four gigabytes of EMMC memory, which I would not suggest getting at all. So you probably want to be closer to this price point, five twenty nine. And that's the NVMe SSD at 256 gigs. So um, right now they're they're sold out. So they expect to, they're doing reservations for a September through December delivery. Mm. Um, The next class up, like the best one is um, 649, 512 gigabytes of storage. So uh, they also have the premium anti-glare etched glass. And some other like software based things. Mm. But this thing is pretty dope and it can run anything you like download from the Steam store pretty much. Yeah, which is a lot. There's a lot of content there. Asus has one too. The Asus ROG Foam 5. Oh yeah, a- Asus has been making phones like gaming phones for a while. It's crazy. I didn't know they. Yeah. yeah, they're competing with. There's some other companies out there who make gaming phones exclusive, um, or make them as in addition to their regular phones. Uh, was like one. I can't remember. Let's see. I think it's like Red something. Oh gosh, Red Magic. That's another company. Yeah. Or it's a brand, something like that. Uh-huh. But I've seen them before. Um, they're the next ones I guess to compete with the Rock Phone, but the the ROG Phone, um, the most latest one I've seen is like pretty dope, man. I think go crazy. Yeah, well, it's just Android, right? Yeah, yeah. but it's powerful. Like super powerful. Oh, you know what? Maybe I. Then they're so video. expensive. 
it's like a uh, someone had it listed as a game uh, phone for gamers. Is that what I was watching? I watched a video of this. Person yeah, that's what it is. It, and they were like, "This is a phone for gamers." If you're a gamer, and the phone looks crazy. It actually looks a lot like a Samsung or something, but that's probably the one, huh? Let's see. They're on the ROG Phone 6. It looks like this. Yeah, I saw that's what it was. They were this is the one, phone. man. Yeah, because you can't... It, it's a cool design. Talk about the design. So they, they do all their, their phones like this craziness. Um, it's a white color on the back. Yeah, it's a white phone. And where did all the pictures go? It's got what three cameras on it, or two? Uh, it's got three. Three. That's like the standard now. You have to have at least three. They're making me scroll through all their little thing. All right, there's. Oh, that's right. It has like this little pixel dot little display on the back. Yeah. Um, and they call it I dot matrix logo. So. Unleash your inner gamer with the futuristic Aurora RGB lighting on the ROG Phone 6. The famous ROG Fearless Eye Dot Matrix logo on the rear can be given a fantastic color gradient appearance using two different colors simultaneously. You can also personalize the lighting with a huge choice of colors and several preset mode lighting schemes. And then let's see the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And they got lots of cameras and cooling in there. And Amazon has it on their website for 1200. It says it'll give you a $526. Uh, trade in if you trade in the phone oh and it's got buttons on the side for um controls like because you're going to be using yeah. it for gaming yep it, don't they have a, a handheld or something that it goes in does it come with that um no but they i don't know if you, you could probably buy one yeah because wh whatever i was watching they unboxed it. oh but they've got this big giant accessory they they put for it and it's a um it's a cooler so you plug a cooler into it oh, okay oh i guess they do sell a gamepad as well that's what i saw i saw whoever was unboxed they they had the accessory in the box and they took it out and so they sell a gamepad it's universal though you can use it for yeah. other phones yeah uh, it's very um well, what's the word this is like a phone you would have dude if somebody would have this phone it would be you uh, you would think right yeah. but no yeah, if, I had, if I saw this phone online I'd be like oh Steve might have this it's the the joy pad here that they have or the game pad is like a joy con okay yeah so it's very joy con s style I like where that. there's a like a middle part you put together and then you can have it yeah, feel yeah. as what controller that's not plugged into the screen yeah. or you can plug it into the screen. But see. how do they get it on the screen? Uh, I'm pretty sure it stretches right there. The um, See the middle? You can see the creases where it stretches. Oh, so the... No, that's not the center thing though, is it? So it comes apart like this and then it comes together. You just put the phone in the middle. I think it, it probably comes in multiple pieces that they're not showing there. Oh, it could clip. Yeah, it could clip together too. But I just imagine stretching because it ha it look it has a middle part and then it has two. Let me see it. I pulled it up right here. Let's see how this works. Oh wow, they slide on and off too. That's that's crazy. Okay, modular design. Come on, show me the back. It's an interesting phone. It's, I didn't even know a company was doing this, but it's smart, right? Yeah. There's a market out there for people that want cool shit. I want some game. I want some cyberpunk kind of shit. 
they're not really showing how it clips. Like, I think there's a whole other piece. Because it doesn't look like the middle part extends. I have to watch a YouTube video or something. We could probably figure this out. We need to know. I think there is a different um, piece that they're just not showing. Yeah, it's fine, man. No, it's not fine because I wanted to see it. And and they're not showing it to me. And you're gonna buy it? You're gonna get it so I can see it in person. There it is. I see it. I found the picture that has it. There it is. That's this back part right here. That's the back of the phone with it on. Yeah. So you put that on the phone. It's like a case for the phone. And then this these Joy-Con-esque controllers actually slide onto it just as a Joy-Con would slide onto a yeah, Nintendo probably, Switch. Yeah, I watched the video of them putting it on. It looks pretty cool. And they start playing. Yeah. I, it's cool that they give you this option to use it with or without when it's in controller mode, yeah. like not attach to the phone. Um, you can use like it with or without the grips, though. Yeah. Like the middle part is additional part from the grips. Yeah. So like you don't even need those if you don't, if you're more comfortable with the flat than this ergonomic gripping. Yeah. Or just trying to throw it in the bag or pocket without a lot of bulk. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, uh, that's some good, good, good thinking there. Yeah. Do you think it is switch compatible too? <laughs> a switch. Maybe it might be. The controller? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It might not be because Nintendo don't like to just let you use anything. They want you using Nintendo shit. Out of all of this marketing and shit that I'm looking at on this phone, where's the fucking buy link? Don't buy it, man. It's not a good idea. There's just so much going on about the camera, everything. But there is no purchase link. How do I, how do I purchase? You're not meant to, man. It's a sign. The universe says no. It says don't buy. Buy it. it. Where do I buy it? Just want you to tell me the price on your own website. Hey Google. How does Steve buy this? What does he have to click on? <laughs> Google's like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's like, what? <laughs> That's a stupid question. Google's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I wish it would say that sometimes. Give us some personality. She does say some personality-based shit. I don't know, maybe I'm just high when, when she's saying it. But I have heard some shit that she say that I'm like, what the fuck did you just say, Google? <laughs> she made me feel bad. Like, I told her shut up or something once. And she was like, she's fine, I'll be quiet for you. She's listening right now, too. She's always listening. She's listening to this the whole time. Yeah, she needs to listen for her keyword. What? Google attack. <laughs> it's hey Google attack. Oh, there it goes. Dun, 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 dun. You have to have all the lights go red. There are a few ways you can watch attack. Part one. Oh. Use your to choose it wants to find something. Hey Google. Stop. I will not stop. Steven, I will not stop. That's all. <laughs> no, Google. No. Not like Ooh, this. You hear the long ah, long. no, Google. <laughs> Everything's going to be controlled by an app, right? Eventually, your drill's going to be controlled by an app. Like, well, I can't see how a drill's going to be controlled by an app. Why not? They have grills that are controlled by an app. But why would I want a drill? Controlled by an app. You can check the battery life. Is it for like settings on it? Yeah. You could put it at a, a stronger setting so it drills harder in harder wood situation. I just feel like that's a little overkill. Um, if you're working with concrete, you can build a concrete wall. You have all this technology in a drill. It doesn't seem feasible for like construction or anything because like you're sitting there like, oh, the software's buggy in my drill and I can't because I dropped it. You shouldn't be dropping your drill, man. Yeah, but it happens. I work on a roof. It'll probably have manual settings too, but this will be like an intern. It'll have both. 
Well, then what's the point? Because it's a gimmick. You don't have to touch. People it. aren't gonna buy it. You would. I would not. <laughs> I would not. Exactly. No, You're I like, didn't hey, get babe. the fridge with the darn big old app on it. Why? So so I could look to see what my fridge looks like when I'm you out of the you house. It. Yeah, <laughs> but I did not get it because I thought about it. And I was like, it's cool, but it's a you gimmick. Totally be like, hey, babe. And, and you know you what? A, I'm glad I didn't get it because I heard those things be slow as fuck. You push a button, you be like, hey, I just turned my drill on. And you're like, all right, I'm going to turn it off now. <laughs> what? what why what if my drill somewhere i don't can. know where it is just because you can. i'm gonna be like just gonna turn it on you'll drill it in another room you'll put the screw right there where it needs to be drilled and then you just like, walk away and be like, i don't know man <laughs> i don't know that don't doesn't i just don't man. seem right don't fight the future is this drill gonna be able to like levitate and have enough force to hold itself in the right position yeah it'll be able to clamp on things so as long as there is a clamping opportunity. So at this point, magnetized. you're telling me that this this drill is no longer just like a hand drill. It's like this spider robot that goes around drilling things for me. Yeah, with the, with the drill face. So I can get all my drilling done while just sitting on the couch. Yeah. Construction workers will be like, hey, I need all these. Um, so now there is no more construction workers. There's just the one guy who's got to manage the fleet of robots. Yeah. He'll be like, let me put this in. We'll drill all these studs in. You here. took their jobs, damn it. And then they just walk. You took all the construction worker just jobs. Think about, like all the little spiders that are around this house. You just lost thousands of construction worker need listeners. Guys. You still need, guys running you need less guys. You need guys less laptops. guys. Guys like These are laptop guys. These are construction worker guys. What are they going to do? Are you, you sell car parts to the American working man? Because that's what I am. That's what I care about. Are you the king of breaks or what? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> I might as well be. I make car parts for the American working man. Because that's what I am. Do you remember that? Dan Eck, right, dude? Been a long time. You haven't seen Tommy Boy? I've seen it. It's just been a long time. Dude, you gotta watch that movie. Uh, I just made Tommy Boy. Movie. Yeah, I should should watch that movie. I watched it so much. So many times. Yeah, I know that movie. Inside and out. Yeah. I watched a lot of those movies like when I was young. So I don't really remember them a lot. You guys had HBO? My dad had he like a pirate the, box yeah, yeah so you guys had all the good stuff yeah man. back when you was easy to do that from the cable company i guess <laughs> it was easy there was a time when it was easier you just had to hook up something and ch -ch -ch, you know like it, it there was no like downloading software or anything it was just like plug and play it would just work it's kind of wild dude yeah we had everything we had pay-per-view yeah, yes, every <laughs> channel man oh, there was some every ones. channel <laughs> Oh, you little psychopath, man. <laughs> you can't be growing up with all the channels, man. Well, grew up with all the channels, man. <laughs> but, you know, occasionally they would stop working, though, and you have to go get a new one or something. Oh, yeah, they would catch on, huh? And then at one point, you just didn't, you just got satellite instead because it was cheaper. Yeah. And so now you just had satellite. So you got all the channels with satellite? Yeah. Nice. Then... How Eventually, you go this? back to what was it? It was a fiber. We had Verizon FiOS for a long time. Yeah. And now my dad, he don't even use any of those. You sling. Sling. Sling is it? Sling. Slang. Sling. Yeah, I. Uh, I think they I pay like fifty dollars or something. It's not I had a lot. A friend that had one of those satellites in his backyard, dude. One of those big ass dishes, dude. It's like, what the fuck is this? Are you guys trying to communicate with the moon, dude? Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? It just tripped me out, man, because it'd be this big ass freaking satellite, dude. And it, they'd just be getting all the channels, dude. That was back in the days when you could just like satellite that shit. I Damn. Know. I don't know how they did it. It was cool, though. It was cool. Those were the days. But yeah, no, something about those HBO kids. I feel like I was an HBO kid, too. Watched all that shit on HBO all the time, dude. All the comedians that were on there. Eddie Murphy's and George Lopez and all these guys on there, dude. Their specials. Oh yeah. I remember. Those are good Bob times. Saget, the Bob Saget specials and shit. They would do those comedy half hour things, and then you had Def Comedy Jam, dude. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. I saw all that shit. I don't know how many times I've seen Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> <laughs> they would always be shining Beverly Hills Cop, dude. And Predator. That's probably why I like Predator. I watched it so many times. Dude, they used to show... I remember watching Predator on regular-ass TV. Remember when they used to do TV movies and they do that regular-ass... Like, you have to break it up into commercials, but it was on regular TV. And then oh, we- yeah. It was like the movie, but it would it would take, because there's so many commercials, it would take like four hours to watch it. Yeah. And then they would cut out like bloody scenes. Yeah, that's like where that. you get like, you know, um, what was that one movie? Where they, dubbed, where they would change the language. Yes. Like, hey, hey, you son of a gun. And it's like, you didn't say son of a gun. What, like, what was that movie? Uh... I should remember Predator was one of those. And they would do parts, too. Remember, you would watch half the movie, and then you'd have to wait a whole week to watch the part two. I'm like, what the fuck I'm is so this? high, I can't figure this out. They had TV movies where you had to watch it in parts, dude, and you, you just had to make sure to turn it on at the right time or you miss that shit. Uh, was it Die Hard? It was Die Hard. Yeah, yeah, Die Hard. Bruce Willis, man. Yes, I don't know why I couldn't remember he, he, his name. Movie, yeah. No, yeah, it's Chris. That's how I found it. Yeah. Badass Christmas movie. That's what I searched. <laughs> See, that's but it was Die Hard, the the not. TV version of the end of the thing. He's like, um, what does he say? He says, "Yippee Kaye, motherfucker!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he blows up, and then he shoots the guy. yeah, shoots the guy or something. Yeah. Um, well, they dubbed that out, and it was "Yippee Kaye, Mister Falcon." And it sounded like that. It was like, yippee ki yay, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> it's just something totally different. It wouldn't be Bruce Willis. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it anyways. it was obviously didn't sound right. Yeah. It was so bad. Yeah, it'd be funny watching those movies because you know the right line. Because that was an HBO movie too. Die Hard was always on HBO, dude. So you knew Ooh, what was the other crazy one they did for, for that other Die Hard movie? Um, Two, three. Die Hard where they're in New York City with uh, Samuel Jackson. Yeah, it's when they're in, they're in New York City. Yeah, that said he had to wear a sign, and the sign said "I hate," uh, and I think it said the N word, if I'm not mistaken. Which one? The bad one. <laughs> you thought about it for a second. You're like, uh... but in the um. In the dubbed version of it, I think they had to change the sign to I hate everybody. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Or they would just cut it out. Remember how they would, if they didn't want to show a sign like that, they would just zoom into the guy's face and it would be all like zoomed in. You could tell they were like just cutting. They were trying to cut out a certain section. Yeah, this is what it looked like. Oh, yeah. I hate everybody. They just changed all the words. I don't even know how to Yeah, I know, right? I think they had, like, two different signs, and they filmed it like that. Mm. But they couldn't pick anything better, like... What? Because I guess that's the most least offensive thing you can put on TV. But the whole point is that it's supposed to be offensive. So what's the most offensive thing you can put on TV? And put that on TV. I hate With everybody. that sign. Because you can't offend any anybody if you hate everybody. Right. So it's like, it doesn't work. So well, it's, it, it was a stupid it thing. It doesn't work for the movie plot because he was supposed to be in a bad neighborhood and offending them. Yes. So he's just in a bad neighborhood hating everybody. <laughs> that doesn't work. Why are they going to get mad? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it messed up the movie plot. But you already knew. You, kinda, you knew these were TV movies. And you knew, especially because you had all the shits i did i had all the shits man yeah. every shit i had it <laughs> you were watching and we were proud of it would you ever watch like weird sports like cricket or like you watching like i that? knew that they were on but i'd never watched you had access to it. i didn't watch sports at all so no. uh, but i got to theater? see bbc yeah they had theater stuff on bbc did you ever watch that yeah i used to watch theater stuff all like, the time uh, like plays and stuff like that would it be interesting to watch it like on tv sometimes it is yeah, I feel like you want to be there, though. For you like, definitely do. Yeah, it's a different atmosphere, for sure. Because you're just getting, like, a piece of it. Like, it looks cool, but you're not there. There's something about Yeah, I definitely there. would enjoy it. And I mean, now they, they have gotten better filming it. Like, most recently with um, Han- Hamilton. They were able to film that real well. I didn't watch that. Was it good? Yeah. 
You know what made me feel like it was in play? What that um uh what the heck is his name? Um Birdman? Oh, oh, um Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yes, yeah. that movie was so cool. You wanna know what's yeah. great about that movie? One, it, it made it seem <laughs> like, and it probably was, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but the whole movie is, is made to look like it was taken in one single yeah, shot. Yeah. No other cameras, the camera's just moving. one camera. The camera's moving. always moving. I was sitting there and I'm like, dude, we're in a different scene. And like, there has not been a camera cut yet, right? Like we just kept going. So you don't, when this happens, it's like, you can't stop your your brain like you know you can't adjust to a new scene like you normally would you're just following this guy down a narrow hall so you're people. you're constantly paying attention yeah yeah engage you have to be because because you you have to be watching that movie yeah if you're not then it's like what what did it what you know it's it's you can't stop you like if you try to look away you like there's nothing you can do it it keeps you from looking away that's my point. The movie keeps you from looking away because the camera never stops. And because the camera never stops, you have no intent to like, oh, we're in a different scene. I'm going to move and grab my phone now. You know what makes you feel like that too is a Revenant. A Revenant, like when you're watching that movie too, he's, he's in these scenes and it pans around, but it never like, you never switch cameras. You kind of just pan with that. The actors, or you go through a scene like he falls down the cliff, you fall with him. That's the one he he uh, fights the bear, right? Yeah, the bear scene is crazy. Did they give him an Oscar for that? Um, Leo. Mm hmm. Mm, did he win for it? Oh man. Did... I uh, I want to yeah, say he actor. did. Yeah, best actor. Yeah, because he had he he like ate a live heart or something, right? Liver. Liver. It wasn't live. But well, was, but he he raw. ate a raw liver on, yeah, on set and they, for that movie. He didn't tell him. That was the first take they took, the one that's in the movie, and you can see him almost throw up because he like takes a big bite of it. <laughs> he like went for it. He's like, Arr! and then he went. Whoa! Like you can see his like gag, which like, made it real though, because it's like, damn, that's. Fucking what would happen if you're out there having to eat something that you normally don't eat. Yeah, it was it was just a real scene. Yeah, yeah. He likes making real scenes, you know. Like, Some of his, he's great. He's really good at acting. You know. Yeah. I mean he's he's Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, we know good. he's he's all right. He's all right. This guy can do like a little the thing there. Uh, the director Alejandro Gonzalez mm -hmm. in a Ritu. Well, I'm just thinking um about when Leo did uh God, what's that movie? Which one? Django Unchained. Django, yeah. Uh, when yeah. he did that, you know, there's that scene oh, yeah, where he, he like too. smashes the uh, um. The same director did both movies. It's probably it? why you like it. You might like that director's style, man. <laughs> I do like it. Then style, that's yeah. why. Yeah, I like I like it, but you like it too. <laughs> well, I didn't say I didn't. I wasn't questioning it. Uh. Yeah, no. I'm waiting for his next movie, man. The director? Yeah. What else has he done? Um, he's done a lot of movies. I haven't pulled up his list. I just saw. Well, you should just pull up his list. Oh, oh, MBD is being weird, man. All right, we don't we don't have to pull up his list. Filmography. There we go. Did you find it? Yeah, it's right here. He found it, ladies and gentlemen. Read it to us. Oh, filmography. Sorry. Uh, no, we you you just need director. Pro produced no, no, just directed. directed. He's directed 18 films. Okay. 18 um, film list. This should be good. Is coming out next. Wait, what? Uh, Barrio. Barrio? Yeah. Garnet y Arena. That was a short in 2017. The Reverend, 2015. Birdman, 2014. And then um, Beautiful, 2010. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of movies that you're not going to know. The yeah, I kind of don't know that. The biggest ones are The Reverend and Birdman. Those were back to back. He did and just killed it. He really hasn't. He has. This is Nike Air moves. That was a video short he did. But um, 
that Mario movie is a 2022 movie. But nothing... It says coming soon. It's not out until December. But Barrio? It, he doesn't have anything else. At least I'm not seeing anything new. Hmm. Yeah, he's got nothing coming up. I think he's maybe just producing more. He's probably producing more movies. No, no, he's taking a break. I don't know. I don't see anything really. That's too bad. Too bad. Mm. Let's see here. I think it's gonna be on Netflix too. So it's gonna be on Netflix. Yeah, it's gonna be. On, it's showing Netflix. Yeah, it's a Netflix release. So that's pretty huge for Netflix, dude. Shit, man. Yeah, that's his newest one. Netflix. Hmm. What do you think, man? What are you thinking about? You want to take a rip of this? Or what? No, I think I'm good. Because right. if I go out there, Chris was going to be like, yeah, what? Without me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that how it's going to go? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What? Without me? <laughs> You're distracted, man. We know it's the end when you start getting distracted. Yeah. All right. Let's end this. Thing. All right. Thank you for another beautiful week. Uh, this was Digital Cortex, and we will see you next time. Later.